Did you know that there is a star named Deneb, brightly visible on any clear summer night in the Northern Hemisphere, that is so far away that astronomers are unable to determine its exact distance? If you look at the summer night sky starting in the east in June and then arcing overhead and to the west as the summer progresses, you can easily locate Deneb as part of the asterism or pattern of stars known as the Summer Triangle and also part of the Northern Cross. You can see Deneb because it's the 19th brightest star in our sky. Think about that for a moment. The 19th brightest star is so far away we can't calculate its distance. Estimates range from 1500 to 2600 light years, which means that when you go outside tonight and look at Deneb's bright glow, the light that you're seeing is more than a thousand years old and is traveling a distance of more than 9,000 trillion miles. 9,000 trillion miles. That's right, and that's just within our galaxy, the Milky Way. Astronomers estimate that there are something like 170 billion galaxies just in our observable universe. So why don't many of us think about the stars? I have two ideas. The first is that we don't call our star what it is, a star. I've looked at many of the world's oldest languages, Latin, Greek, Arabic, Hindi, Hebrew, Chinese. And like English, they all have a separate word, sun, for our star. So most of us end up thinking of our star as somehow different, special, when in fact it's just like any other star. There are billions of stars, NASA says, just in our galaxy that have planets that are potentially suitable for life. But if you weren't reading Discovery Magazine or looking at the small print on the back page of your newspaper, you probably missed that. Which brings me to the second idea, which I call the blue veil. Most of us, if we do go outside after dark at all, typically do so in an area of light pollution. And when we're out in the daytime, there's this blue veil giving us the illusion that our world is alone in a bubble with nothing beyond. So if we never go outside on a dark, clear night, it's easy to forget that we occupy a tiny place in a potentially infinite cosmos. I read one of the astronauts who has lived on the International Space Station, where he said something to the effect that if all people could view our planet from that vantage point, our interconnectedness would be so obvious that we might just stop stressing and fighting over the mundanities of our daily existence. Very few of us will ever have that chance to orbit the Earth, but we all can go outside on a dark, clear night and have an equally profound view, the sight of the visible universe in all its glory and mystery. Try it. Try it tonight and consider your place in the cosmos.